G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines on the first on-water testing day that we've seen in the world for this new Mercury 3.4 litre 175, 200 and 225 horsepower V6 outboards. Now, we put a piece up earlier on the media launch last night where the, the Mercury people went through all of the features and benefits of these outboards. Now, uh, that's all well and good to say that they can do these things on paper, but uh, we like to experience these things on the water. And there are things that you can put on paper that you, that you can't really explain until you get out and experience them. So that's what it's all about today. Mercury have got their on-water testing event like they have at a lot of Australian on-water boats and we got to ride in a couple of boats. Specifically, I ran in a uh, Boston Whaler 25 footer with twin 225s, which is a great rig, but the one I spent most of my time in was a Rabalo 206 Cayman. That's a little 20 foot bay boat, which was powered with a 200 horsepower new 3.4 litre V6 Mercury four stroke. Now, um, the first thing I notice, of course, when you put in is how quiet these motors are, both at idle and at wide open throttle speeds. At wide open throttle, you can have a conversation with the captain of the boat, no problems at all. And at idle, if you haven't got uh, that telltale pushing water into the water, you, you nearly know it's not running at all. So four strokes have always been really quiet at idle, and this seems to be really next level. Um, Mercury uh, claim also 50% less vibration than other motors in its class. Now we couldn't really measure that, but uh, uh, plugging into the quietness, they do seem to be running really, really smoothly. Um, the second point, and the one that was the real game changer for me, is this mid-range torque. It seems like uh, um, stepping up my own personal motor as an L4 Verado, moving up to this 3.4 litre, the, the mid-range torque is off the charts, which means that um, pushing the boat onto the plane, no problems, but also just between that 3,000 and 4,000 RPM, if you put the hammers down, that boat really moves. I know when we were filming the cutaways that you're seeing here of that boat taking off, it was hard to stay in the boat while you're uh, while the captain is pushing those hammers down. So mid-range torque equals ridiculous, and it's great. Great to see it rivals any of the old two-stroke carbureted uh, engines that you've driven in the past. So, uh, but without any of the disadvantages. Third, of course, and one of those disadvantages of an old two-stroke, of course, is fuel. And even some of the other four-stroke platforms struggle with fuel efficiency sometimes. This uh, the best economy came in the. 200 horsepower at 3,000 RPM, uh, where it was delivering 2.2 kilometres for every litre of fuel burn. Now, um, apart from the great economy, you're getting over two kilometres per litre from a 20 foot fiberglass boat with a 200 on the back. Um, the fact that it was planing at 3,000 RPM really shows the fact that it delivers that uh, torque way down into the horsepower range. Like it got that thing up onto the plane at 3,000, no problems at all. Plenty of boat tests I do, you have to pull the boat up on the plane and then drop it back to 3,000 RPM to get that reading. So very impressive. Um, for looks, now yesterday, I thought, mm, looks a bit angular, looks a bit modern. Um, even in 24 hours, my opinion softened. When you see some of these motors rigged on boats, um, white, black, they have the custom color panelings in them. Um, the manufacturers here they work with to, to make sure all of these boats look really good. And you'll see in some of the cutaways again here, the fact that some of these boats look great with those custom panelings on them. Um, and lastly, I suppose this is really important for Australians, especially ones that want to repower their boat. There are two versions of this available. You can uh, buy one with Mercury power steering and it plugs into the smart craft and that whole ecosystem of digital throttle and shift with Mercury. But if you've currently got a Mercury with uh, hydraulic steering and running Smartcraft, maybe some of the vessel view gauges, you can buy a version of this motor, which is cheaper, which plugs straight into your hydraulic steering into every, all the gear you've got already. So uh, both of those uh, versions are going to be there in Australia. But um, so after spending a few hours on the water, um, there's nothing to dislike about this platform. It's got the pickup. It's got the economy, it's got the looks, and it's got the versatility to fit on the back of heaps of different boats. You're going to be able to get them in uh, short, long shaft. Uh, you can have them single and twin rigged. The only thing that I was surprised is that uh, Mercury joystick piloting doesn't work with these outboards. I thought it was a, probably a pretty unique opportunity to have that joystick piloting in the smaller outboards. You can't do it. But apart from that, uh, what a great looking range and what a great launch in a great part of the world. This is Steve Morgan checking out for Fishing Monthly Magazines.